Work to me. Hi guys, what's up, man? It's your man Kamari, aka Reno Slow Motion. And that face you haven't seen in a minute. JT in the bag. Oh. You're so fun, boy. I know. She's like, so what would you. You don't do a label. Yeah. So, we're, we came up with a weird topic because, as some people don't know, like we're best, best friends. But, we're, we're not together. Right? Right. Yeah. A lot of people was like, I'm so happy. But we did get a lot of love when we make videos. Okay. Look here. I can't quit turkey. You can't quit turkey. I can't quit cold turkey. Cold turkey. But I'm working on it. I'm still planting. I'm a Bob Marley. Bob Marley, Bob Marley. Oh my God. All right, so we're talking about when someone's on a relationship, like if you've been together for so long and you're trying to be friends, and then on with the fact that if they start dating somebody else, how weird would that be? I guess. I guess. I mean, the awkward just would only have to be when they have to come to the house. Yeah, it'd be like he woke up. Right? <laughs> they go, who? Who are you? What? No. No. I mean, I got my side. I mean, I might be small, but I got my side. She's seen my side before. I'm pretty aggressive to be as small as I am. Yeah, I'm on that side. But, how would you deal with that? Like, the fact that it? I mean, they all hurt. Obviously, but, I mean, life goes on. But do you think you can be friends, like, with a person? Like, say if I was dating some girl, do you think you could deal with her? I mean, Without, I, when giving her a look like she dropped dead when she comes oh, over? We got the, I'll kill you, bitch, look. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it takes time. I mean, obviously, yeah, there's feelings that were there that developed over time, and... It, I mean, it's not just going to happen overnight, so, I mean, it's a process, you know, you, you're going to have to go through that break, where anybody that comes by that is new that you know anything about, you're going to be protected, because, I mean, obviously, you, you still care about that person, you don't want any harm to come to them, so, that's what I did, I and mean, sometimes I can be, I can overkill it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm learning how to back off and just let things be. Yeah. Like, I'm an like easy person. Like, I don't know, I'm an easy person. I'm pretty laid back. I don't really express my emotions out like that that much. Yeah. Right? I'm not a big emotional, man, big expression person. I keep it bubbled up to the point. But I guess if the person is a good person for someone, you know, if they are regardless if, you know, they're your ex or whatever, you just gotta hope that they choose a good faith and be a good friend and be there if they need you. So, I guess. 
don't don't let it you know, affect your friendship or with the person that you used to date. I mean, if there was a friendship that was there before the relationship, then even if the relationship ends, that friendship should always still be there. Because that, that was there from the beginning. But see, I don't understand why people take it so far, like when they get so pissed off because if somebody chooses not to be with me anymore and they move on, I don't understand why these people go after the, the, the person they used to be with. Oh, you moved on and you want to end up killing that person that they're with. Or, you know, I don't understand that. I can't get that concept out of you know, why people go that far. If somebody don't want to be with you anymore, they don't want to be with you. you know how many women there is in this world? It's more women than there is men. There's not that many of us guys, you know, a lot of chicks out here. There's no need to be, oh, well, man, she don't want to be with me no more. I'm going to go out and I'm going to kill her and her boyfriend, or her and her girlfriend, or beat them up or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't get that concept. Oh, wow. Get a therapist. Write a book. Get a journal. <laughs> Call your buddy. Drink a six pack of beer. I don't know. If you drink a six pack of beer, you're going to drink a look at baby. He's still going to go kill that baby. Yeah, that's true. I guess that wouldn't help. That's like you're on fire. Well, you just need to check yourself with the quickest mental institution you can with padded walls. Oh, no. She's so quiet. I know. <laughs> and she's not never this quiet. Don't let her fool you. She's never this quiet. This, I've talk in most of the videos. I do talk to this video. She's just being a demon. I'm not being a demon. Seriously. Yes, she is. She's, she's being a demon this morning. This brush has been overstroked. Many things. Oh. Yeah, hair. <laughs> she took her brush. I had that brush. She's so close I can't brush my wings. I can't brush my wings. Now she's looking at herself on the phone. I'm looking at the picture. Thank you. Yeah, don't be my juice for me. Come here, you got a box. You can go get some. Please. Okay, I guess. Oh, you mean now? Oh. Right. Alright, guys. So, you got somewhat of my point of view and a little bit of hers. I don't know why. Maybe she's. I don't really, I mean. I don't really think I think she's just being quiet. Yeah, I think she's being quiet. We'll be back. We'll have something else to talk about. Yeah. Mission's a little bit unliberated. Yeah. Well, you really think they're not liberated. You know one thing about having a gap in your teeth? You can't talk and say certain words the way you want to. Frustrating, but you see what I'm saying? Frustrating. Don't get no gap in between your teeth. They just don't work at all. Alright, so I'm going to close this and I guess we'll make another video later. Alright, guys. Later. Later.